right, all right, all right. So this video is going to be about painting lightning. If you paint Stormcast, you are almost definitely going to have to paint lightning at some point. I've painted a lot of lightning since I started my army, and I've also failed at painting a lot of lightning since I started my army. But I'm starting to get a pretty good sense of how to do it, so I thought I'd make a video on it. So going back to my first attempt here, it was on these Annihilators back in April. You can see it's just straight white over a dark background. Maybe the shape was right, but you know, it doesn't really look like lightning here. So you go to some references and you realize maybe, look at that, there's a lot more color than just white in lightning. There's a lot of turquoise, there's a lot of blue, there's different points where the light sort of extends out and uh, it glows across the sky, stuff like that, right? So carrying on, we come to the Lord Relictor. Another attempt, used a bit more blue, used a little bit more color in the lightning. It was looking pretty good there. I was pretty happy with how that one turned out. And then I started to get really wild over here with Donatan's Storm Coven. A lot of turquoise in this, which I think is fine, but going back to it, I think I would maybe uh, do a little bit less of it. Then I'll pull out some more references. And here is where I'm really starting to get a sense of it. This is sort of like a cartoon lightning, and this is the kind of look that I like for my guys. I don't really like that realistic lightning because there's just too much going on. A few too many like very fine lines, and it's really hard to translate that level of detail to a model. At least for me, you know, I'm sure there's some people that can do it out there, but I am not one of them. So moving on to my most recent unit, these are my retributors, and this is where I really got a handle on the type of lightning that I like to paint here. There's a lot of glow, a lot of different colors. Uh, the patterns are a little bit better stuff like that. So with all that out of the way, I'll probably just jump right into it. I'll explain sort of some rough concepts and some of the colors I use because honestly, every time I paint lightning, I do it kind of differently. And I like to try different mixes and different patterns and stuff like that. So starting off, here's all the colors I use to paint these guys. We have Procryl Dark Gray Blue, Vallejo Turquoise, Procryl Sky Blue, Procryl Faded Ultramarine, Gold Titanium White, and Transparent White. And also, I didn't get a picture of it, but uh, Nolan Oil, which is, you know, I use that for pretty much everything. So that, that is in there, but just in a base coat. So starting off, these have been base coated with the dark gray blue and then just covered over with Nolan Oil. I find that gives like a sort of a, a bit of a rougher look to it, almost like a dark stormy sky. There's a little bit of color variation, almost like a cloudiness to the blue base coat. And on top of that, you can see here I'm layering up just a bit more dark gray blue on top of that which will sort of create the basis for our glow because you always want to be layering up from your darkest color for lightning because it'll sort of glow towards the places where the lightning is the brightest. And these don't need to be super precise. You can basically just do a rough shape, you know. You're going to fill these in with your actual lightning bolts, but they don't need to match the, the shape or the pattern perfectly. It's a pretty rough coat here. After that's done, you want to mix in a bit of the turquoise and start to flesh out the lightning pattern here. You know, these can still be fairly wide because, again, this is almost just like sort of outer glow where light would be extending off of the central bolts. Doesn't need to be too detailed. You're just starting to flesh out the pattern just loosely here. But you do want it to be roughly the, the shape of the bolts. It's important not to make the bolts too straight. You want them to kind of zigzag. You want them to be, you know, swirly in some ways. You don't want the forks to come off too consistently. Um, you know, and follow the same direction, anything like that. You'll sort of get a sense for that. If you go back to the references, it takes a few attempts. Honestly, I screwed these ones up and I had to repaint a bunch of the bolts halfway through uh, because I realized that all the bolts are running in the same direction and a lot of the forks are running in the same direction and they end up looking more like a Christmas tree or something than lightning. Sometimes it just happens. With practice, it happens less. You just start to build up these techniques as you go and with repetition uh, you make less mistakes. <laughs> Once you've got the base pattern down for your bolts you want to start mixing in some of that sky blue and start building up an even finer lighter pattern and this should start to be really close to the final pattern that you want for your lightning. All the forks, all the bolts, start to make these really fine and really close to the final look you want because this is really going to be your actual lightning bolts here. Once those are done you're going to just start lightening this up more. You may actually want to go to a pure sky blue and then maybe just mix in a little bit of turquoise. Again, these colors aren't like super precise. I, I kind of just mix stuff as I go with this, but the, the goal is to be just continually layering up to lighter and lighter colors until you've got your final bolt pattern done. But never going to pure white for the actual bolts. I'll explain the white pattern at the very end for lightning bolts. So build up these layers, start to get them nice and bright start to work towards just the very center of the bolt, very fine lines. 
get a few finer, more detailed forks in as you build up. And then move up to sort of a mix of your lightest blue colors, which is going to be that faded ultramarine, maybe a little bit of turquoise. Mix a little bit of white in. Really get it looking bright. This should be like your final sort of blue bolt color. From there, you're just tracing each bolt very finely up towards the top. They should be a little bit thicker towards the top. The fork should always be a little bit thinner. Really build out that layered pattern, and then you'll have sort of a nice, almost glowing looking bolt. Once you've got your layers built up and all of your lightning bolts traced properly, then you're going to move on to white. So you're going to take pure white, and every single place where there's a fork, you're going to put a dot and maybe just a little bit of a trace, but mostly just try to start with, just put a dot. And it should be a big enough dot that it covers the entire fork. Go over every fork on the lightning pattern and do this, and then you're going to break out your transparent white. Once you get your transparent white out, you're going to start tracing just the forks and trace those forks just a little bit like above and below each of those dots and then trace over the dot with transparent white and this will really even that out and kind of make it look like the forks are glowing brighter than the rest because if you look at the references a lot of times you do see like right at the forks there's a bright point there's a little bit more glow right at the forks for some reason when lightning splits like that I don't really know why I'm not some kind of big brain uh, weather meteorologist or anything but Right at the forks of lightning, I just noticed there's like there's always more light. It's always a little bit brighter. So I try to, to trace up towards the forks and have that bright pinpoint of light right on the forks. And that creates a pretty good look, I found, overall. And once you trace these up, you can sort of clean up the edges sometimes. Um, a lot of times, like, I end up, after all these layers, end up with some of the bolts looking a little bit too thick. So I'll go back to the base color, which is just that dark gray blue, and then clean up some areas. I think, oh, maybe I want that to be a little bit thinner. Uh, maybe this fork is a little bit too thick, stuff like that. Go back over, clean them up as you will, and you're pretty much done there. That gets you a pretty good cartoon lightning look that you can use on your Stormcast shoulders, weapons, stuff like that. Or even, you know, like, I think maybe if, if you're doing Night Lords, you might want to do something a little bit more realistic with some, like, finer patterns, at least from what I've seen. But, yeah, you, hey, you can try it out. You never know, right? It might look cool. But, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, absolutely demolish those like and subscribe buttons. Smash your mouse into a thousand pieces, hitting those buttons, and uh, hopefully you found this helpful. See you again in my next video.